Welcome back to The Gun Collective. My name is John Patton. Boys and girls, we're out here at the range once again at the Proving Ground. And today we've got a kind of unique rifle. So this is a bunch of different companies coming together and we are going to put it to the test today at 100 yards. We are expecting to see at least MOA accuracy. We would like to, uh, with some of the higher end precision stuff, maybe a little bit better than that. But let's talk about real quick what we've got going on here, what our shooting setup is. From back to front, we've got a Coltac boss bag back here as our kind of stabilization. Uh, the chassis is an MDT, I believe this is the ESS chassis. And in that, we've got a Howa 1500 300 Win Mag action. Other than that, the, the action is fairly standard. We're using five round MDT mags. Up on top, we've got the Leupold Mark V HD. This thing is legit. I love this optic. I'm really excited to be able to put more rounds across it. Uh, out front here, we've got the brand new Magpul bipod that everybody's super psyched on. That thing's pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of press going on about the Magpul bipod. Super affordable, so we'll see how we like it today. And rounding us out out front is the YHM Nitro. Now, this was a suppressor that I absolutely love. Uh, I did a not a review on this years ago, and I think this is fantastic. So we've got that out there. We just got that. Uh, as far as ammo goes, we've got some Freedom Munitions, 180 grain. Let's see what else we have. Uh, precision, some Bards Precision 220 grain. We've got a Hornady 200 grain ELDX, some 150 Interlock. 300 wind mag from Hornady again that's the American Hunter line and then rounding us out with the cheap crap is the Remington 150 grain core locked ammo so without further BS you know what we're shooting you know what we're doing let's start putting some groups down range and see how it shoots Coltac is no longer just making suppressor wraps and pouches. They're jumping headfirst into the precision rifle game with products like the cuddle bag The Boss Bag, the Ammo Book, and the Rifle Handle. You pick the colors, they build the gear. And because you're awesome and you watch TGC, they're doing a special discount code for you. TGC10 will get 10% off your entire order over at Coltac.com. All right, here we are at 100 yards. We have some 180 grain tagged out from Freedom Munitions. We're going to shoot a group here. We're going to shoot uh, top left hand target. We're going to shoot center. The point of impact is probably going to shift around on some of these because the bullet weights are pretty different, but uh, we'll see how she shoots. Here comes that rain again. Go in center. Send it. One that time? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So it looks like we've got some issues with brass sticking in the chamber. Um, we had shot this rifle before and it was a little bit tight. We may need to get in there and uh, clean up the chamber a little bit, but we're just going to try and uh, kind of shoot it out. We'll see how it does. Send another one, Ben. Same target. Send it. Some vertical strain going on. That one came out all right, right? Yeah. Okay. Any marks on there? Just where it was rubbing. It's rubbing against the wall right there. Okay. <coughs> shoot a couple more, and we'll yes. see how she does. Shoot two more. I got two more in here. All right. That one was loose. It wasn't as tight as before. Okay. Shoot a few more and see how we do. That one came out okay. Maybe we got it. Maybe uh, one of the pieces of brass grabbed something. Pulled it out. I mean, that looks good. 
I see a little bit of a mark, but I don't know if that's from... Yeah, it's where it's hitting the side of the ejection yeah. port. Yep. Okay, send another one. That, uh, that group does not look fantastic. Um, why don't you load up another mag and we'll send another group with that same ammo. Alright, I got five rounds of the 180 green tagged out. I'm going to shoot bottom left target. Bottom left on the top right? Yep. Got it. Top left target. Top left. Or bottom left. Okay. Target. Go ahead and send it. Top left target. Bottom left. Diamond. <laughs> Tell you what, that group is miles, miles above the other one. But what's interesting is that one was a little bit tighter, and that one actually it went high. strung high. Um, how hot is that gun right now? Uh, you can see pretty good mirage coming off of it. All right, well let's let it cool for a minute, and and then we'll continue with that same ammo because I think we're starting to see some promising groups. Um, interestingly, as the gun heats up. All right, so we let the gun cool a little bit. Uh, we got five more rounds of the tagged out ammo. We're going to see if that group uh, keeps on going like that. Yeah, I'm curious to see if we continue to see some really nice groups. Why don't you go uh, top left target, bottom right quadrant? Bottom right. All right. I'm ready. Send it. Is that chamber still tight? Yep. You got, the, uh, you got your mallet there if you need to. This thing is uh, acting really erratic. <clears throat> Why don't you load up another five. And shoot it while it's warm. And shoot it while it's warm and see, see how it does. Um, I'm concerned about the chamber sticking and things of that nature, but um, the groups are going to have to tell on that. Uh, I suppose uh, top left. Top left. Getting pretty good mirage off that can. Okay. I think I need to call Coltac and <laughs> get myself another cover on there. How do you feel about that group? Well, it definitely ejects better when it's hot. Okay, that's good to know. So I'm wondering if it's just a little tight and then when it gets warm it expands enough that the ammo works good in it. Okay. Okay. That one definitely felt hotter. So you felt the difference? Yeah, you could feel one. it. It's interesting in the same box of ammo, seeing that sort of stuff. That one was heavy. I felt it when I put it in. Okay. I gotta admit, I'm not a real big fan of having to, to do this, and I'm not really sure what the solution is. I can smell that can. Can you smell it? I can see it from here. Wow. Okay. And that one was heavy again. All right, I think it's time to let the gun cool again and uh, maybe move on to a different type of ammo and uh, see what we come up with. All right, so the gun is cooled down and uh, we're moving on to the Hornady Precision Hunter ammo. This is a 200 grain ELDX. And uh, I'm gonna take a turn here and see how I shoot with this stuff. I have pretty high expectations. Hornady Ammo has done pretty well for me uh, historically, so we'll see what we can do here. Click. Hey, now I've got a round. It didn't pick that first one up. Nope. Two o'clock. Nope, doesn't want to feed that one. There it goes, all right.
Well, uh, certainly not uh, impressed with that group. Uh, I'll guess I'll load up another mag and see how she does and see if both are consistently hitting about that. Uh, let's move on. All right, gun cooled out a little bit. We got some Barnes Precision Match. This is a 20, 220 grain hotel. Uh, we'll see how this stuff does. I'm going to go next target to the right from the one that you shot, and right. I'm going to go center. What the hell happened there? The four that looked pretty good. You had that one flyer. Grass looks good. All right. I just don't why, don't you, why don't you put another one down? I mean, it's shooting pretty close to point of aim. I don't know what that tight one was from. I don't know. Bottom right. Bottom right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So you had three in the same hole and two kind of bottom left. Um, I think I think we should save those last three rounds and you said you wanted to try that from prone, right? Yeah. All right, so we didn't let it cool. We're gonna shoot these last three rounds. We're gonna go bottom left. Of oh, that same target. Same target. So two left and one right. Yep. Let's not a great result. All right, so we're running short on time. I'm gonna try out the Hornady American Whitetail. It is a 150 grain bullet. We've tried a little bit of every bullet weight category with this cartridge. We're gonna go on the lighter side to wrap up here and shoot some of our final groups. I'm hoping the, the Hornady Whitetail stuff will do pretty well, but uh, we shall see. Here we go. That's shooting high. Good to know. Yeah, it's the whole center. Yeah, I'm still. I, I gotta hold that. Yeah, just shoot that group. Yeah. That actually went in the same hole. Wow. <laughs> it just got a little bit bigger at seven o'clock. Just the hole just got a little bigger. That's why we have the target cam. That's high. Right. That one might have been me. Waiting for Mirage to calm down. Now we're in the top hole. That was up in the top part of the target. Again. Okay. Just You're gonna go ahead top. and shoot another group with that stuff. Just at the top edge. Yeah, the last three are almost touching. So you had two go in the same hole, and the last three were touching it. So interesting that this. Uh, I mean, we experienced some of the more affordable Hornady stuff shooting well in other cartridges or other calibers too. Yeah, that 140 grain American Eagle stuff. It was a 120 grain. Shoots great out of the, uh, the American yeah. Eagle stuff shoots great out of the 6.5. Alright, All right, you see that? See it too far. Same hole. So, it likes the, it likes the, the light stuff. Yeah, it definitely favors the light stuff. Why don't you take these last two? Shoot some, shoot a five round. Yeah, why don't you two shoot a, a couple of these five round groups and see how you shoot with this? Right. Um, I'll and shoot the bottom two squares and I'll hold the bottom. This, they'll just be high. Yeah. The rain has uh, kicked in here. All right, so why don't you call out what you're doing for the? Uh, All right, we're going same ammo. The Hornady American Whitetail. Gun is still hot. John just got done shooting. I'm gonna put two groups down here. I'm gonna go same target as you. I'm gonna go bottom left and then bottom right. Okay. Hold center orange on those. Yep. Bottom left, bottom right. It's just gonna be high. Send it when you're ready. Whoa. Oh, dude. Dude. You can't you can't push on the gun. You can't what? You can't push up. You can't put any weight on the gun. Cause it's hitting the barrel. That's what that first one was? Okay. I, I laid into the gun. It's getting hot now. Yeah, yeah. It was warm when I was shooting it. All right, last five. Here we go. Yeah, now the Mirage is getting bad. 
I can see the heat coming off of that. Well, it's getting so bad I can't hardly see anymore. All right. Well, I think it's time to wrap up anyway. Yeah, that's uh, the a couple of those groups were pretty promising. I think we need to further pursue that ammo. And uh, I think the light the light stuff shoots a little better. Yeah. Let's go grab the targets. All right. So it's a little bit rainy all day. We had a good day at the range. What do you think of the groups of the free munitions? You started here, yeah. went here, and then here, and then here and here, right? I think that was the order. Yeah, I think it was that. Uh, the audience will obviously correct us on that. <laughs> what do you think about the groups? Oh, uh, like they're not horrible, but it's still we had that bolt lift issue. Right, right. Get, so th this get, ammo with that gun, not super yeah. happy. Probably not the best choice, at least now while that chamber is still relatively tight. Uh, then I believe I moved on. This was with the Hornady Precision Hunter stuff. Yeah. So I shot a five shot group here okay at best uh that's probably inch and a half two inches somewhere in there we'll get we'll get final measurements yeah. for you guys uh this one had some more promise here and this was a 200 grain bullet so a little bit on the heavier side 180 200 so this was okay still from here to here not the best and then a final four shot group on our peeling targets that are getting wet out here and okay at best again um th so between here inch and a half ish i don't know again we'll get measurements About two inches two inch inch and a half somewhere in there and then what what went down on this one so this was the bars precision uh 220 grain stuff okay so you had a um, you started here yeah had a couple like two shots and, and then this one i said whoa because that was way out and uh just like this is okay it had a decent flyer this is a 220 grain bullet yeah. And then again, same thing here where you had one hit, one hit and, and then, then a bunch over, over on the side here. Yeah. And then these two, or three, and then these two. Yeah, so, so inconsistent, uh, pretty uh, spaced out groups, not positive on those. And then we dove into what will, you know, what we will note as one of the more affordable ammunitions here. And this was the 150 grain, I believe it's an interlock from Hornady, it's a soft point hunting ammo. And we actually saw some of the best groups of the day. Yeah, you got five here. So our first our first group yeah. was what, up here? Yeah, so that's your first shot. So it was holding here, it was hitting high, lighter bullet, not shocking that it's hitting high. Put one here, and then, and then the four. Last four went here, yeah. Four in there, and then where did we go from there? Do you remember? It was this one, because yeah, I, you I held here. Down here and, and shot a really nice, way improved group. Yeah. And then I, I said, You've got to get on this and try this. And you shot went you went here, you were holding yeah, hold here, here, and it hit here. Yeah. Good, four shots, maybe a flyer there. Still, this is this is way cleaned up. And then your final group, less impressive. Yeah, I think the, the gun just this is, the gun was super warm because it, it that was the back end of a box of ammo. Yeah super warm really mirage off the can things of that nature um not exactly awesome but these other three groups the other, two are, the other three are, aren't bad at all these lead me to believe that we need to go down the rabbit hole of what that ammo is capable of with that firearm but we'll save that for another day what are your thoughts um, i mean you know to preface it the rifle in that chassis i mean that barreled action is maybe a four to five hundred dollar yeah. barreled action not super expensive what I would call a hunting rifle, something affordable. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, if you just put it in like a, a plastic stock or something like that, I think it would be a great hunting gun. Sure. Um, something like this, I, I don't think it likes heat too much. Okay. Um, just from what we saw with the groups. And I think it like I think it actually likes the lighter bullets too. I think it likes 150s. Yeah. 175 would be a good bullet to try. Okay, um, okay, so we'll have to try some 175s, maybe a 165 if we can yeah, find 168 it. 168 something. Like uh, oh, a 168 uh, Sierra Match King. That would work. That would be a really or interesting one, bullet. Or, or a 175. 175 yeah. yeah. So we've got two other bullets uh, that we know are really good quality bullets from uh, you know good quality manufacturers. So we'll have to check those out. Uh, maybe dial up some hand loads and see what we can really start dialing out of that. I wanted to start here at 100 yards to find out 
where we needed to go with the gun because if we don't know what ammo shooting the best we're just wasting our time at longer ranges and that was the just i mean we only shot three shots to confirm zero and then right we, we went right into it we didn't even mess with it we right so so i think across here we learned some things uh, we're definitely going to have to shoot that rifle a little bit more with some lighter bullets and uh, see how she does. Well, that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Be sure to check the links down in the description to support TGC directly. And of course, as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.